Okay, hockey dad. Yep. Getting back to thoughts of abstinence only, there were media bombshells flying everywhere that some say called McCain's political judgment into question, uh, starting with Palin's news that her 17-year-old daughter is uh, five months pregnant uh, with a potty-mouthed hockey player's baby. And then uh, there's daddy's old DUI, and then uh, mentions now, which are at this point alleged and um, not judicially confirmed, but broadcast that uh, the oldest son, Track Palin, may have been involved in the uh, 2005 vandalism of 44 Matsu school buses, which caused a closure of school, a brief closure of school. Yeah. That that particular piece of news, to my knowledge, hasn't been broadcast right. here in Alaska. If it's been broadcast anywhere, Radio. it's been outside. Yeah, so I uh, I haven't. Well, kudo apparently. <clears throat> okay, but, and and, and again, that's that's supposed to be a, a liberal station, a station mm -hmm. that's been known to. Uh, boost the cause of the left, uh, the Democrats. So y you could say, okay, they've got an agenda. So mm -hmm. we haven't been able to, to, and we haven't really. I mean, we covered that story when it happened. Uh, the juveniles were involved. Of course, they don't announce the names of juveniles in cases like this. So we have no way of knowing. So mm -hmm. that still is, a, you know, a Up rumor as far as I know. But as know. far as the rest of, you know, what's happened. Well, that's going to happen, and and it is. It, our, you know, as journalists in Alaska, mm -hmm. our lives changed dramatically as well on Friday because I've seen a, a big uptake in my emails that, that uh, I, the, the likes I've never seen before. Uh, there's a lot of people trying to put their spin on this. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks are, and we haven't seen, this is just the beginning. We've just scratched the surface with this. Uh, there are people coming out of the woodwork trying to discredit her. There are mm -hmm. going to be people coming out of the woodwork to try and, and bolster her, of course. But uh, I think she's tough enough to handle it, but it's gonna, it's just a whole new, it's a whole new life for everybody here. Um, I just got an email, as I told folks before the show, just got an email last night uh, from a woman who purported to be one of her best friends at one time and started off very laudatory terms about Sarah Palin, and by the time you got to the middle of this, uh, email it was just like you know she was talking about the the devil uh you know it was a you know this is incredible and that's just a, a portion of some of the emails that we've mm -hmm. received so far there to give you an idea of the kind of scrutiny that's going to be going on here cnn has sent up three investigative teams of reporters mm -hmm. three different teams mm -hmm. and they're delving into everything NPR is here and, and, yep networks and you Washington know Post. the democrats are here and, and national every, inquirer just got on the jet and left yeah Okay, that'll be fun too. Uh, Us Magazine is supposed to have a spread on on, <laughs> on some of the things that you brought up here too. So everybody who's got a printing press or everybody who's got a video camera is going to come out on this thing and spin what it the way about they want. McCain's judgment? Do you think that you know is it that you know like I said earlier nobody knows Sarah Palin and yeah. they're having to do you know heavy makeup or what? No, I, I, I he says he vetted it vetted her properly, that they went through a proper vetting of her background, of what she would bring to the ticket. They checked her out very closely. Um, we don't know. We have to just take his word for it. He says he's very comfortable with it. Um, you know, this is a woman that you, uh, I've learned to never underestimate. Um, I, th I didn't think she'd win her city council race when she ran so long ago back uh, for the Wasilla City Council. Uh, I certainly didn't think she'd beat John Stein for mayor when she ran, and she creamed him twice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and so I mean, she's lost two two races in her life. One was for Miss Alaska, and the other one was uh, lieutenant governor, and and, uh, and that's it. So, uh, you know. He's known for being a maverick, for thinking outside the box. He certainly has done done it on this occasion, and and um, you know, only time will tell if he's right. But so okay. far, she's she's energized uh, a portion of the Republican base that he hasn't been able to do. 